Welcome to Keysville, Virginia. I'm your host, Mike Talbot of Outdoors on the Grill. This week we're going to be hunting goose and dove. Get a feel of the wonderful lodge owned by Bill and Brenda Hall and watch Dave Shores, their resident chef, prepare some succulent goose. Right here. Stick around. We'll be right back. Have you ever had anybody uh, capsize a canoe on you before? No, today is the first. <laughs> Chef's complimented when the people enjoy the food. Excellent. Cheers to Outdoors on the Grill from Stonewall Vineyards. Welcome to the University of Notre Dame's Distance Learning Certificate Program in Nonprofit Lobbying and Advocacy. I'm Mark Hardy, Director of Nonprofit Executive Programs at the Mendoza College of Business. Nonprofit Executive Programs is part of nonprofit professional development, which also includes the Master of Nonprofit Administration degree. Thank you for participating in this nonprofit distance learning program from the University of Notre Dame. Uh, as Mark said, I used to be in the ministry. I used to have a all minority church, and uh, in there I would preach, and every so often people would go, "Amen, brother, uh, hallelujah," and uh, that always helped to kind of uh, get me going. Uh, so if you feel so moved uh, part way through, uh, go ahead and do that. I used to be a Presbyterian minister, which meant 20 minutes was all you ever spoke. Corporations decided that there was a lot of money going through Washington. I know in your uh, seminar you're going to get some training on how to become a federal contractor. It's one of the most important things you can do. There is a ton of money. I used to, uh, through the agencies supporting people with disabilities, we would go ahead and uh, uh, make sure that we did all the parachute harnesses uh, using people with disabilities. We do something that's fairly unique in the industry, which is called a client orientation. We, every time somebody new comes into the house, whether it's the day one that they started uh, as a new client or we bring in a new caregiver on day 30, we take someone from the office, takes that caregiver there and orients them to the client. And what that does is that enables the client, first of all, for it to be a warm visit. And they know that the company is letting the caregiver know exactly what needs to be done. Um, and then we go through a very extensive um, orientation process as well as a dementia training process. And then again, once the caregiver is placed, we want our client to be comfortable and happy and really fall in love with their caregiver. They take so much work off of you and they do it with such a loving heart toward him. And that's the biggest thing because when they ask me, what do you really want a caregiver to do? And I said, I want him to be good to my husband. I'm Dori Presson, career coach and founder of Career Transition Services. Since 2006, I've helped hundreds of professionals make a positive change in their careers. My background includes an in-depth study and training as a professional coach, and I hold certification in career management. Those who come to me for coaching are generally early to mid-career professionals who are either seeking to advance in their current field or they're reevaluating their career path and wanting to make a change. Through weekly coaching sessions, you'll stay motivated and on track and have the tools to overcome any obstacles that get in your way. Remember, you don't have to settle for anything less than success and fulfillment in your life and career. Now that I'm really using my strengths in my job, I'm finding that I'm much more relaxed at work, definitely less stressed, and more gratified in what I'm doing. 
It's sad that more than half of working professionals are dissatisfied with their jobs, and I've seen how unhappiness at work can spill over into other areas of life. Through my career change coaching program, I find it gratifying to help people design a career that's a great fit for their skills, interests, personality, values, and passions that includes everything that's important to them. Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Tharp. I've been in practice 12 and a half years and I've seen thousands of people through my years of practice here in Franklin, Tennessee. The part of my practice I think you will like the best, when people walk in, they already feel like they're with family. They're set at ease. I have a great staff that helps move them through the practice, lets you see everything we have to offer. We take our time, we get to your problem, so that you leave, you'll feel like that all your questions have been answered. What makes our practice unique is our brain core therapy. This is neurofeedback brain training that creates new neurological pathways for better brain communication for problems such as ADHD, seizures, migraines, insomnia, which yields permanent results that are drug-free, painless, non-invasive, with no contraindications. We work with patients for cardiovascular problems. We actually have a weight loss program. Uh, I like to find out all their health concerns that way, if it's something I can help with, I can address everything. If I can't help with it, I want to find where they need to be. What gets me excited to come here every morning is to see the results of the seeds I've planted just days before, weeks before, even months before. Whether I'm working with a chiropractic patient and their spinal care, or I'm working with a nutritional patient and things that take months to evolve. I like to see the results and I want to see what grows from it. Patients come to my practice and come back over and over again because they enjoy the experience. They feel like their entire health has been encompassed completely. They want their family and friends to have the same experience. So they refer them here to know that they're going to be in good hands. I was given two months to live, but thanks to organ donation, I was given a new lease on life. I was watching a news story one day about a man having donated a kidney to a son. That got me to thinking about the need for organ donation. Since I had two good kidneys, I'd give one to someone who needed one. Nothing has changed physically for me. I'm still able to do everything I was before. Make it one less. Reduzca la lista de espera. Me dieron dos meses de vida, pero gracias a la donación de órganos, tengo ahora una nueva esperanza de vivir. Viendo un programa de noticias sobre un hombre que había donado un riñón a su hijo, me puse a pensar sobre la necesidad de la donación de órganos. Teniendo dos riñones saludables, podía darle uno a alguien que lo necesitara. Desde entonces, no he tenido ningún cambio físico y sigo siendo capaz de hacer lo habitual. Reduzca la lista de espera. The Cool Springs Chamber of Commerce was started six years ago and it focuses on Cool Springs businesses. There are about 240 members right now. We do a lot of mixers, we do a lot of networking events, and we do a lot of professional development events. Our programming is unique. We have a lot of emphasis on three major themes, innovation, information, and influence. We strive to bring you opportunities to network so that you meet people, not only to swap cards with them, but also meet them in a way that starts a relationship. With the Cool Springs Chamber of Commerce, we want to see you get together and, and build a relationship that finally lands in a trusting partnership. If you're looking for a place to promote your business, make friends, get leads, 
then the Chamber of Commerce at Cool Springs is a great place for you. We welcome anyone who is thinking about joining a chamber to come and visit us at one of our events. The best way to find these is to go to our website, which is www.thecoolspringschamber.com, click on Calendar, and see the Events page. Then you'll have all the details. We'd love to have you register. We'd love to meet you. And I'm always available to meet individually with anyone to discuss their marketing plans, their business plan, we have several new initiatives we've just started this year, and I think that with the guidance of the members who've been with us for a long time and the fresh ideas of the ones who've just come on board, we're in a perfect place to develop and grow ourselves as well as to develop and grow your business. Yo soy la doctora Cristina Barnes, soy optómetra y la única doctora de habla hispana que presta servicios en Tennessee. Atendemos todo lo referente al cuidado de la visión. Ofrecemos anteojos, lentes de contacto, lentes de contactos especiales y la cirugía correctiva con láser. Mi hija es paciente de la doctora Cristina. De los 9 años de edad la niña usaba lentes, a hoy tiene 14. Y la doctora nos ha recomendado lentes de contacto para dormir. Estamos muy agradecidas con la doctora Cristina por el tratamiento y la seguridad que le ha dado a mi hija, porque puede ver claramente durante el día. Aceptamos todo tipo de seguros médicos y también ofrecemos planes de pagos muy accesibles a su presupuesto. Todos nuestros lentes son garantizados por un año. Para nosotros lo más importante es el paciente, así que venga, visítelos en Barstalero Iker. Well, first of all, thank you all for being here today. It's, um, it's been a little over two years since uh, we met. That's right. And we met downtown where we uh, spent some time walking around doing the flood damage. And I can't tell you how thankful we are to uh, SBA for what they did for Nashville during the flood. Um, thinking back to that time, remember we delivered, we repeatedly delivered the message that SBA was not just involved with small businesses, but they were important for uh, homeowners in terms of the recovery. And SBA provided the city, um, as a result of the damage that we incurred from the flood, $124 million. $124 million, wow. so, right. Which is incredible and a huge part of the recovery of our city. And uh, Administrator, one of the great things I get to say as mayor is I can say, on behalf of all the citizens in Nashville, uh, thank you for what you did and thank you for being here so quickly. And, Thank you for bringing a big checkbook. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we were here two years ago. It was six days after the flood. We walked to some of these same stores. And this morning, I went back to Soundcheck, where I had oh, been. Good. They've got business going again. And this is a testament to the entrepreneurs here in Nashville, how strong they are, and how much this city supported them to come back. And I know Jack is sitting here. Um, this was uh, years ago when you came here, a place that uh, you know was not the strongest in downtown. And you, with your entrepreneurial spirit, came and you said, "We're going to lift this whole area. We're going to make it a vibrant town downtown for Nashville." And I'm pleased to hear that you're even thinking of opening another location. And. Uh, Jack is telling me it's never too old to be a new entrepreneur, to be a serial entrepreneur, right? I'm really indebted to the SBA because I couldn't have got the loan because uh, there was so much risk involved with uh, being in this block. Um, but SBA guaranteed 90% of it and uh, National City Bank took the other 10%. If you're a small business out there, and you want to start up like Jack did with his barbecue, and you come to the bank with a plan and they say, we love you, but you're not quite bankful. Then go to sba.gov, and we will put you in touch with a bank that can use an SBA guarantee. We'll guarantee 75% of the loan. We've gotten a lot of businesses like Jack started, and then they go on to open another one and another one. Our job is to provide access and opportunity in a place like downtown Nashville or all around the country well, this one here, we only had water in the basement. Yeah. Our right. store on 2nd Avenue had four and a half feet yeah. right, in it. Right, right. Yeah. 
Exactly. I know because I was waiting for it up to here. And I know that you were able to get an SBA loan from the Small Business Administration that you didn't even have to use because you stepped in and saved your inventory. You probably waited in and saved yeah. your inventory. And uh, we're very pleased to see you back in business. There's nothing like coming back to Nashville and seeing these terrific small businesses growing, creating more jobs. Yes. You know, you come to a place like this, it's yes. clearly the cutting edge activity. And I understand that we were able to support you with um, a loan. That's right, that's right. I started off in 1999. Uh, I started off with a $68,000 SBA loan. Mm -hmm. And I paid that loan, it was a five year loan, paid off in four years. Congratulations. And it was strategic, thank you very much, to pay it off quickly. But if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have had the capital. And it wasn't for the SBA supporting back in that loan, the bank could not have done the loan. So this is a great example because, you know, a downtown company in technology yes. in Nashville is going on a trade mission to sell our technology yes. goods to China and Korea. Absolutely. Right? You Absolutely. know? Absolutely. And anybody yes. who doesn't think we can compete, yes. think again. Think again. Half the people in this country own or work for a small business. And as you know, they are the vibrant parts of downtowns and of uh, communities, business communities like the Nashville community, which has small businesses that export all over the world. And we are here to make sure they have the capital that they need and the advice and the counseling through all of our uh, bank partners and our small business development centers so that they can do what they do best, which is grow and create some jobs.